Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and today I'm actually going to be playing the second half of the recording from yesterday's video, continuing talking about grading and everything. Like I said, I rambled for way too long, so I cut it into two videos. So if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, definitely check out that one first before this one. And uh, yeah, again, if you have any other further questions about grading or the process or this or that or whatever, you know, just uh, you know, let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely uh, try to answer you, or maybe make another video. Who knows? Whatever. But uh, again, thank you all so much for 700 subscribers, and let's go ahead and get into it. So, it's important to note every book has a different raw value and graded value, and I talked about this briefly with the Ultimate Fallout 4. Um, there's a certain value where it's like, eh, it's probably just easier, and you'll make just about as much money. If you sell it raw, it's a lot faster. Uh, is it really going through the whole grading process and making an extra twenty dollars? No, you know, <laughs> um, and that's you know deducting your cost and everything. You got to think of it like that. And then it's like you're waiting all that time and you made an extra twenty bucks. No, just get it. I mean, you know, I guess if the book's only a forty dollar book, maybe. But uh, if you know you're selling a book for six, seven hundred dollars, whatever, something uh, like that, an extra twenty dollars does not matter. Um, that being said, every book has kind of got a different point at which it becomes worth it to get graded uh, as, as far as investment status. So this, for this um, part of the video, this is all more investment type uh, conversations, uh, financial reasons uh, to get a book graded. So I'm going to use, this is a really good example. I have no idea why. Every book's, like I said, just different and you got to do your research on it. I don't know. Um, so, Spider-Gwen, um, 24, right? Um, this is first appearance of... Uh, God, I want to say Spider-Gwen. That's not right. Of uh, Gwynnum. Uh, it's first appearance of Gwynnum. And uh, now, granted, I got lucky and it came back a 9-8. And also, I got lucky because this book was given to me by my boss. Um, he'll... He's, it, perks of working at a comic shop and having a cool boss, I guess, is all, all I got to say on that one. Um, it's about a $100 raw book. And strangely enough, it's about a $100 9.6 book as well. So it's a book that I would tell 99% of people do not get it graded. If you're looking to sell it, just sell it raw. Um, I don't know why. The price point's about the same for a raw and a uh, and a grand. It's been a little bit since I looked at that, so the numbers might be a little off. Uh, but at one point in time, at least that was the case. Uh, but yeah, I I wouldn't wouldn't tell you to get a grade. And I granted it, I was free, and so all I had to do was pay for grading. And if it came back a nine six, I would have been fine with that. I do like getting things graded. Some people just like getting things graded, and it's not really so much about the the value, and that's fine. Uh, I guess even an investment standpoint, and that's the thing, like maybe you found it in a dollar bin or you, whatever, you got a really good deal on it. Uh, and so it, that kind of shapes your perception of, well, I didn't spend that much on it. It's kind of worth the, the risk of maybe I can get a 9.8 if you are looking to maximize your value, which at a 9.8, it's about a $200 book. So it's a really strange one on that one. Uh, as far as, you know, if you don't get that 9.8, you might as well just sold it raw. Um, if you're a gambling man and you do think you could get a 9.8, if it's a really clean looking copy, which when I sent that one in, I was like, I'd, I'd like to get a 9.8, but I'll be conservative. And, you know, I, which that's the next topic <laughs> is I'll be conservative, but um, you kind of have to figure that out. And if there's any, if, if I were grading that book and I was looking to sell it, if it had anything wrong with it i would not get it graded now granted obviously if it has major issues you're not going to get a hundred dollars out of it like that um but if it's a and i'm talking about like little little small defects if if it had anything that really i was like this thing's not going to get a nine eight which you never know but um if, if i really didn't think it had a good shot at it i would not send it in to get graded um let's see i'm trying to think of other books and that's the thing like it's just really, you have to look at each and every book um, with, like this one, if I'm fully expecting a 9.8 back out of this one, if if it doesn't come back a 9.8, I will be a little upset about that one. Um, 
and like I said, just just look at the price points. So, for example, this Young Avengers one that I got, um, I I didn't. Oh, I got it out of the trade. I think I got a good value for it. Um, if I were just grading a copy, and again, this is also for personal collection, so the rules of value and everything don't really, or the the thoughts of value don't affect me as much otherwise. But uh, if uh, if I'd spent a good amount of money on that one, well, I probably got ripped off. <laughs> That's uh, not exactly where I meant to go with it. Basically, if I was trying to sell this one raw, it I'd probably get a uh, decent amount money, a uh, decent en enough amount of money for this book if I just were trying to sell it raw, versus if I went through the whole grading process, waited everything. It's like, well, I got a little bit more money, but I waited months for it, and it's like, eh, I probably should have just sold that one raw. Um, and again, yeah, it's a pretty good book, so like, it has yeah, it has a nine zero. It's like it demands a decent value. Uh, obviously, if you get a little higher on that nine four or whatever nine six nine two even, it's like yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, obviously the 9.6 and the 9.8 is where that book really explodes at. Uh, and if you have it at that quality, there's no question, get it graded. Um, now at an 8.5 or a 9.0, that still holds decent value, but it's like, mm, I could also get a pretty good price out of it just trying to sell it raw. Um, so each book will, and that's, again, I just can't stress this enough. Just look up, really compare. And that's where the the first steps are important, determining a grade, because then you know where to look. Now, granted, you get to look a little higher, a little lower. If you think it's maybe an eight, okay, look at it. Look at seven fives, look at eight fives, and determine. You know, if it falls that low, will it? Will that kill me? You know, if it does hit a a, a seven five, is it game over? You know, did I did I bust? Did I lose money on that? Um, which I guess we'll roll into the next conversation of be conservative on your grades. So um, even with like this, that I'm like, I'm really expecting a 9.8, always send in a book knowing you might not get that 9.8. You might not get any grade that you think it is. Uh, like I said, I think this one is an 8.5. And, you know, I got to send it in with the thought it might get an 8. It might get a 7.5. And the more you do it, the more you'll kind of learn. Now, granted, also understand grading is subjective. Um, I know there's a lot of rules and everything, and it the subjectiveness shouldn't really be taken out of it. But, I mean, you've seen, well, maybe not you specifically, but we've seen it happen before. You can uh, take a book, send it in for grading, um, crack it open, send it right back in for grading, and you get two different grades. Um, depending on the graders you get, each person, I mean, a person is doing the job. It's not a machine. A person is sitting down looking at it and it's them saying, I certify this book to be this grade in my opinion. At the end of the day, it is ultimately one person's, well, I know there's multiple graders to look at a book, but in, we'll just say for simplicity's sake, in my opinion, this book is this grade. And, uh, you know, you send it into a also not not even different grading companies like you could send it to the same company and get a completely different grade but obviously also yeah if you're sending it to a different grading company then it's uh, just another set of people and then also that company might grade their books a little differently might be a little harsher or a little less harsh or whatever so there's a lot of factors into what actually will get you your grade on the book and just knowing that uh, it may or may not be exactly what you think uh, now, granted, the more you do it, the better idea you'll have, the more you'll learn. Like I said, my my boss uh, that I go to for information, he's pretty spot on. He's pretty solid. Again, he's still wrong sometimes. And that doesn't mean that his knowledge is flawed. It's just that the grader's going to do what the grader's going to do, you know? <laughs> so um, keep that in mind. It is very important. Um I see him do it all the time where he, he's really thinking about a book. He's like, you know, if this book comes back a 9.6, we're, we're looking good. But, and again, and he's running a business, you know, he, he owns a comic shop. So when he's getting stuff graded, sometimes for personal reasons, but yeah, when he's getting the stuff graded, most of the time it is for the shop and uh, to maximize the profits of the shop. And a lot of times he's like, mm, it's just not worth the hassle. I'll just sell it raw. And, um, and again, it's not worth 
there's a risk. There is a risk because you don't know exactly what grade you're going to get. And if he's like, well, if it if it falls into, like I said, nine six, we're looking good. Nine four, mm, nine two, we you know we would have just been way better to sell it raw. So with that in mind, uh, just know that you know even experienced people do have issues with this still about determining if they should get something graded. Uh, and it it's a difficult thing, and it only gets easier the more you immerse yourself into it. Um, and uh, then, so let's talk about grading companies. I'm going to specifically talk about two. There's several out there. So I want to talk about CGC and CBCS. Like I said, there's also PGX, which I wouldn't recommend. There's EGS, which I'm interested in. I've heard some stuff that their slab quality isn't super good. Um, but they have really cool labels, so I don't know. But anyway, CGC, CBCS. Um CGC is the, the mainstay, been around for forever, everybody knows CGC, however, during the pandemic, well, for even moving up to the pandemic, CBCS had been moving in, trying to really put their foot in the game, I mean, their foot was in the game, but really trying to come on par with CGC, they weren't quite there yet, I, I would say, as far as, like, the value uh, quality, we'll talk about here in a minute, but as far as like the value of their slabs and everything, um, and on the secondary market, they were really trying to get their name out there and uh, be more prevalent out there. So, uh, but during the pandemic, uh, everybody started sending everything in to get graded, um, and peak pandemic, I guess we should say, um, and CGC got absolutely backlogged. There, <laughs> once upon a time, you could send your book in and get it back in like three months, and that was like a standard submission. <laughs> Once upon a beautiful time. Um, that being said, now you're looking at like, I, I don't know, I'm just going to say eight months. It might be more, it might be less. I, I don't really know if I even trust what they say their turnaround times are. Um, but whatever, we'll just say roughly eight months or so. And you can go on each person's website, and they have... Their turnaround times. This is the thing, another thing. Each company has different uh, different types of submissions you can do. You have standard, and you have like an upgraded, um, and then you have like express or rapid or this or that or whatever. And there, you know, so that you can pay more to get your books back faster, basically. Um, now, granted, that's a whole different conversation. Look at the numbers. It's just look at the numbers. You know, is this book worth um, spending extra money on? But also like. Do I need this book back before a movie comes out and stuff like that? So it's all numbers and math. And if you're into selling books, I mean, you need to you need to know your numbers. You need to know your math. Uh, I can't help you out with that. If you're not a good business person, then maybe reconsider selling books is all I have for you. Um, but anyway, so CGC, like I said, was the lead, the premiere. But then after they got completely backlogged. A lot of people started using CBCS, uh, not only just for time issues, because, yeah, we didn't want to wait at that point. Oh, my God. I mean, I just fairly recently got back some books that were there since March, you know, uh, <laughs> almost waited a year for those books. And um, so, yeah, we wanted our books back faster, but also with the just upload of, or the up uh, work of, of everything going on at CGC quality seemed to be slipping uh there were issues about grades not really seeming accurate which people will say all the time just because they want higher grades but there were even you know like i got a nine eight on this and you can you look at all these spine ticks on it and issues like that um there's been a lot of hairs and extra piece of plastic found inside their slabs and dirt inside the slabs and uh and i'm talking about like a smear of dirt i know i made a hand movement but like little specks of dirt and and, and i've had that on some of my slabs um, and so, yeah, there was a lot of quality control issues and there was time issues and a lot more people started using CBCS. People will argue with this and I'm not really, this is not meant to be an argue about grading companies, but it, I, it's an informative piece. And in my personal opinion, CBCS slabs are valued just the same as CGC. And this comes from someone that works at a comic shop, has no issues selling CBC slabs at the same price as CGC slabs. When I look up the price... To, let, let, well, let's just say... Well, I have this one here. I'm going to sell this comic at, at the comic shop. And 
I don't I don't care if there's a CGC, CBCS, or whatever. I just look that it's a 9 and I look up the price of that book at a 9 and uh, that's what I put the price on. And I have no issue selling that comic. Um, I've also sold uh, comics personally. Have no issue selling CBCS. I started using CBCS... Um, I don't know exactly when. I know I stopped sending stuff to CGC in April, uh, but I think it was a few months until I started sending more books out. But then I started using CBCS... Uh, at first, ooh, their two day, two day ex, uh, express was beautiful. Uh, I got my books back in a month, which is still a lot, a lot more than two days. They were backed up, but ooh, a month was beautiful. Now that's extended too. But uh, uh, that being said, um, you know it. There were a lot of quality issues uh, with my CDC stuff. My CBCS stuff has been awesome so far. I I've had zero complaints with them. I personally prefer the quality of the slab better. I think uh, it's a lot sturdier. It feels like a better quality build. And then also with CGC comics, not always, but yeah, I can feel the comic move around in there. I don't have that issue with CBCS. It is slightly, but I, I, I can feel the comic move back and forth. Personally, irritates me. Um, we're going to get off the CBCS versus CGC topic. <laughs> uh, again, I'm not here to make it... a a debate, as I know it will probably be a debate until the day I die, but uh, I'm just informing you of my opinions because, well, it's my channel, and, <laughs> and people ask me my opinions and stuff all the time, and uh, moving on to still within the choosing your grading company, but also looking at um, the times uh, for the different submissions, uh, but also the time, like I said, if I'm trying to sell a book, let's say I'm trying to sell my Ultimate Fallout 4, I don't know where, it's in the stack here somewhere, Ultimate Fallout 4, I've lost it, how did I lose it? Someone stole it. <laughs> oh, here it is, okay. I want to sell this before the next Spider-Verse movie. Well then, I need to look up when that Spider-Verse movie comes out, and I need to try to guess the time. Now granted, times are getting a little bit more stable, with both grading companies. And I will say, CBCS is backed up now too. So, it's going to take you time for whoever you choose. Unless you choose one of these smaller companies. Um, but, um, yeah. I mean, that's just the unfortunate world we live in now. Everybody's grading comics all the time. I don't, I don't know if it'll ever go back to shorter times. Unless some of these companies... Unless CGC or CBCS really steps up and says... Okay, we're going to open up another facility... Alter, uh, you know, hire a bunch of new employees. We're going to have multiple facilities around the uh, country. And unless they start doing crazy stuff like that, I don't think wait times are going to get any better. And that's my personal opinion, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, but anyway, so just know that your wait time is going to be long. Talk to people, see how long their submissions are taking and stuff like that. Because uh, times are fluctuating. So depending on what, when you get your stuff graded, look at their, their uh, pages, what websites. They'll have a turnaround time listed. Add a little bit more time to it. <laughs> no, I don't, and that's not not throwing shade at any company. I'm throwing shade at everybody on that one. Add more time to any submission just to be safe. Um, so I I choose my my plan again. I mean, standard submission is going to take ages. So like, I really want this one to come back. Let's just pretend I, this is a nine eight book. I, I'm super positive. Uh, it, it's going to be a high grade. I definitely want to get this one graded. Um, and I want to get the most value. Now, granted, I need it back so I can get it back uh, around the time, you know, right before the Spider-Verse movie is when I sell it or during the Spider-Verse movie. That's when I want to sell this book. So, uh, I need to look at my options. I'm going to probably have to pay more because we're probably, like I said, standard submission is, is going to be too long. So, I have to look. And then let's just say I'm going with CBCS. I can do their rapid thing, which is, I think, about... I think their website list is about a 28-day turnaround time or something right now. Uh, and again, look at it because it'll it'll keep changing as workloads change and everything for them. But, uh, so it's like, okay, that would work, but I, I think that also costs like $90. Do I want to invest that much? Do I want to try a two-day modern? That might be enough time. Uh, I think that's closer to like $30 or something like that. If that's enough time, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be waiting anyway... Until that movie comes out. That's when I'm going to sell that book. So if two-day modern is enough time and it's going to be way more two days, let's just say it's 
two months or whatever. I'm just throwing out rough numbers right now. But okay, if it gets great in two months, the movie comes out in six months. And I don't, I don't even know when the movie comes out. But let's just say movie comes out in six months. I can probably get these books back in two months. Okay, we're good. You know, that'll work. Because a standard submission might be eight months. And that's not enough time. I know that's not enough time. Two day at two months or whatever. That'll that'll probably work. That should be good. And even if it takes three months, we're still good. That's 50% more time than I thought it was going to be. But we're still good, you know. So allot yourself a little extra time if it is a time-sensitive sale. Now, if I'm buying something that I... It's a big key that I think will just continue to grow up over time. I'm not as worried about it. Because, again, if it's just something I think will continue to grow and grow and grow, then, mm, you know, not as big of a deal. It's just a good key to have, you know. And, um, like, NYX3, right? If I'm selling NYX3, it's just a good book. You know, I don't, there's at least right now, that, you know, there's no announcement of a movie or anything like that. Um, now, granted, if you get sent off to get graded, and between them, there's an announcement of a movie, it's only grown in value anyway, so you're, you're doing fine. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, ask other people about their submissions, how, if they've sent anything in recently, how long it's taken, stuff like that. I'm constantly asking people as well, um, because I don't frequently send in comics to get graded. Um, I don't know. I just wait until I have roughly around 10 or so, or just kind of whenever I decide to, it's like, okay, time to send in these books to get graded. Um, so there are people that, you know, grade stuff more frequently than I do, or just happen to maybe they just got a shipment back or something. So ask them, get their, uh, they're not ideas, but get their numbers, you know, from them. Cause it's, it's all a numbers game. So, um, that's more or less everything. Let me make sure that I covered everything. Um, cause when I was talking about these books, I brought up a couple of other things. So yeah, I talked about grading companies. I talked about being conservative on your grades um i think i have everything more or less figured out in this video i don't even know how long this video ran for do you think it was a longer one thank you all so much for staying around for the full thing uh like i said please 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 join us on our live stream this wednesday um it's gonna be a blast i can't wait to hang out with everyone live streams have been super super fun i'm glad that they've they've really grown and we've uh, we have a steady audience um and yeah, obviously this one, we're giving away free comics. I should be announcing the comics that I will be giving away at 800 subscribers. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think that's everything I have for you today. If you have any further questions, whether it's about grading, uh, whether you need some clarification, if there's something I didn't bring up, or if you have other things, if you're new to the hobby or still learning in the hobby, feel free to ask me questions. Leave it on any uh, video or send me messages on Instagram, however you want to do. Just let me know what your questions are. If it's something short and simple, I'll message you right back. Uh, if it's something that needs a longer explained video like this, I'll probably give you a, a short little answer, but just give me some time, and I'll, uh, if, especially if it's a topic like this that multiple people have been asking me about, I will make more videos of, uh, like this. Uh, so thank you for your questions. I, I really appreciate it. And it helps me to help you better. So, Because <laughs> if I said all this in a text message, I would go insane, you know. Uh, but uh, I don't mind sitting here and explaining it in a full video. Thank you all so, so much for the love and support that the channel has received. And thank you for watching the video. And I'll see you next time. Ah.